In the previous video, we have implemented a UI controller in the canvas so we can select a button and uh, depending on which button is selected, we can place road for the house and for, for the special, we cannot place anything. So now let's take care of those two buttons to finish our city builder. So let's stop the game. And what we are going to do is go to scripts folder and create a new C -sharp script and let's call it structure manager. And let's open the script up. Great. What we will need to do here, first of all, let's delete the pre-created code that Unity has provided us with. Next, what we will need to do is we need to consider how we are going to place our structure. And for me, the easiest way to do it will be to randomly place different structure depending on the weight of some sort. So let's outside of the, the class create a serializable enter public struct and let's call it structure prefab weighted okay alt enter on serializable to be using system so we can show this struct in uh, the unity inspector let's create here public game object and this will be the prefab and we are going to create public float weight and since this is a weight we want it to be in range 0 1 so let's create an attribute range 0 1 so the weight will be from 0 to 1 your rate so now we have the possibility to create a prefab and add to it weight so some houses will be more often seen than other houses so what we will need to do is to have a public structure prefab weighted and let's create two arrays so this will be an array and we need to have houses so houses prefabs and special prefabs great and we will need to have the reference to our placement manager so public placement manager let's call it placement manager Great. Next, what we will need to do is we will need to create a two arrays of a float that will group our weights for the prefabs. Private float array, and the first one will be house uh, weights and special weights. Great. So now we have all those variables that we will need now let's create start method and here we are going to get those weights so house weights is equal to our house prefabs so houses prefabs and we are going to use the link library so let's type select alt enter using system.link and we are going to query our array of prefabs so let's type I'll open the brackets, let's type prefab stats lambda expression so equal and greater sign prefab stats dot weight and we are going to simply call to array and that's it and we have our array of float let's copy the statement because now what we can type is special weights okay so I need to delete the house weights, house weights. I have copied too much we are going to call special prefabs and that's it. Now we have our arrays of special weights and the array of house weights. And this will be useful when we want to place our house and special building. So let's create a new method, public void. And the same as in the road manager, we are going to have here place house. We are going to get here the vector th three int position. And this is because we are going to assign this as a uh, handler to the input manager on mouse click. And here, first of all, we will need to check the position before we place on it our structure. So if we are going to create a new method called check position before placement, and 
and we are going to pass the position here and let's create this method alt enter and generate it and let's first implement it because before we finish our place house so again we need to call uh, and ask our placement manager if we can place a structure here so if our placement manager dot check if position inbound position and let's check if it is false so if it's, it is not inbound, we are going to debug that log to inform us what is going on. Let's say this position is out of bounds. And we are going to return false. Next, we are going to check if our placement manager, and we are going to check if, check if position is free. Position, if this is false, and let's copy the content of the previous if statement and instead let's call this position is already taken wait or we can type is not empty great and as i have previously stated we will limit the placement of our structures so that we can only place a structure if this is near a road so let's type if our placement manager, let's call get neighbors of type of type four position and cell type dot road. And this will return to us a list of vector three ints. Now, if this returns count of zero, so count of this list is less or equal to zero. So there are no neighbors of type road near this space. Let's again copy this in, uh, input. Let's again copy the content of the previous if statement. And we are going to uh, call debug.log must be placed near a road. And if none of those checks is correct, we are going to simply return true meaning that we can place a structure here. So you can already see another use of our graph that we can check if any neighbor is of type road. If it isn't, we can block player from placing a structure there. Okay, great. Now let's go back to our place road method. And here, what we will need to do is call int random index equals and we will need to create our own method to get the random weighted index. So let's call get random weighted index. And we are going to pass our house weights. And let's create this method, alt enter on it. And before we finish it off, we are going to call placement manager. Okay, I have typed something wrong here dot and we are going to call place object on the map so this will be a different method very similar to our temporary placement but instead we are going to place our object in the structure dictionary so let's call uh, let's pass to it position let's pass to it special prefab oh, sorry house prefab houses prefabs and the random index dot prefab the selected prefab and we are going to call cell type dot house or uh, structure i think great and at the end we are going to call audio player alt enter using svs library dot instance since this is a singleton play placement sound and we need to alt enter on the placement manager to generate our method place object on the map let's save it and first of all let's finish this script and then we are going to go to placement manager and implement this one last method so let's implement this get random wait and what we will need to do in this method is we are going to simply rename the argument from house weights to weights we are going to create float sum equals 0f for 
tab tab we are going to call i equals zero i less than weight so the argument dot length and we are going to simply sum all the weight so sum plus equals weight of index i so we have the sum of the weights and what we will need to do now is create float random value and we will get the random value from zero till the sum of the weights so let's type random dot range and we need to call i think unity engine dot random dot range and now we can pass zero and weights sum or sum in our case and we are going to start from zero to the first weight and this will be the range for the first prefab the range for the next prefab will be from zero plus the last weight to the zero plus the last weight plus the next weight and this will be the ranges for the prefabs and we will be able in this way to select a prefab that is most likely to appear so now let's create float temp sum equals zero okay and we are going to loop for tab tab i equals zero i less than weight dot length i plus plus and what we are going to do is if our random value if our random value is greater or equal to than temp sum and our random value is less than temp sum plus the current weight so this is this range that i was talking about so first it will be from zero to the range of this uh, first prefab if we have selected a random value in between those two values we are going to return the index i since this will be the prefab that we have selected else we are going to call temp sum plus equals weight dot uh, of uh, index i so we are going to start from zero to weight zero and then the next range will be from weight zero to weight one and so on until we reach the last weight and if the first random value is in this range we are going to select the zero prefab so the prefab with index zero if it is in this range we are going to select the prefab with index one and so on and we are going to simply return it so if we have selected this uh, this range we are going to sell, uh, return this index and if we went over the, re uh, the board so we are going to return the zeroth index if by mistake something went wrong here great okay let's take a break here in and in the next video we will finish it off see you in the next video